Hello, in this video, I will demonstrate Data Access Enforcer to control access to data in Oracle EBS. To begin, let's view the user setup for this demo. We have five users set up for this demo. Paul, Philip, Chin, William, and Peter. They each have their own responsibilities and login accounts. Next, here are the five use cases we will cover in this demonstration. In the first use case, we will cover how to filter data for order management based on policy. We will show that for a user whose responsibility is preferences SSWA, they will only be allowed to view their own data. For this use case, there will be two users, Paul and Philip. When Paul logs in as the SSWA, he will only be able to see the records that he is the owner of. Before we move into the demo, Let's view the policy details and the expected leads page results. Here are the policy details. And this is Paul's expected view of the leads page. Given Philip will be entitled to view all records, you will notice his expected views differs and contains all leads. Now, let's move into the demo. Logging as Paul with his account phenry, I will navigate to the sales user page. Here, on the leads page, Paul can only view the records that are owned by him. This is because Paul has responsibility preferences as SWA, so he will be allowed to view his own records. Now, let's open another browser and log in as Philip using his login account eBusiness. Similarly, we will navigate to the sales user page. Here, we will see that Philip is able to view all the records not only the records owned by him. This is because Philip has responsibility application developer, which allows him to view all records. In the second use case, we will cover how to mask data for manufacturing based on policy. For this use case, the columns unit cost and material will be masked as zero on item cost form if the user's responsibility is application developer. We will use two users, Philip and Chin, to demonstrate this. Before we move into the demo, let's review the policy details and expected results. Here are the policy details. These are the expected views for Philip and Chin when viewing the item cost summary. These are the expected views for Philip and Chin when viewing the item cost details. Now, let's move into the demo. Let's log in as Philip. As Philip, I will navigate to the Manufacturing and Distribution Manager page. Select the Cost subpage. Then, click on Item Cost. A pop-up will prompt Philip to select an organization. Here, I will choose the organization CITO Distribution Center to open the form. When the window opens, there is a condition to input a category set. Let's select the ASCP item and click Find. We will see that the column's unit cost and materials will be masked as zero, since Philip's responsibility is application developer and is denied access to view the original values. Let's select any record to check the details page. We will see that the unit cost and materials remain masked. Now, let's log in as Chin using Chin's account, Automotive. Similarly, we will navigate to the item cost form. To open the form, I will select the organization, CITO Distribution Center. Here, I will also select the ASCP item as the category set. And click Find. We will see that the values for unit cost and material are not masked since Chin's responsibility is Inventory Vision Operations USA which allows him to view the original values. Let's select any record to check the details page. We will see that the unit cost and materials remain unmasked. Next, we will move to the third use case, where we will cover how to mask and update procurement data based on policy. For this third use case, 
If the user's responsibility is application developer, the phone value will be masked as asterisk, and the update action will be denied on mask items, but allowed for other items. The user's Philip and chain will be used in this use case. Before we move into the demo, let's review the policy details and expected results. Here are the policy details. This is the expected view for Philip. And this is the expected view for Chin. Now, let's move into the demo. We'll start by logging in as Philip. As Philip, I will navigate to Purchasing Vision Operations USA. I will then select Requisitions and click on the Requisitions item. The Requisition window pops up. I will click on the Find tool and will input the percentage sign to view all values. Then, I can select any of the records. Here, I will select the record with the requisition number 187. In this form, we can see that the phone field is masked with asterisk. Let's try to update the phone field and click Approve to save. The update operation is denied as Philip does not have permission to view and update the mask field. When we open the same form, we will see that the phone field is the same as before and mask. Now, let's update the contact field and click Approve. Again, we open the same form. Here, we can see that the contact field is updated with the modifications made. We can test this out with another field, Location. I will change the location to Beijing and click Approve. Similarly, we see that the location is updated. These results are as expected since Philip's responsibility is application developer. Let's change user and use Chin's account to demo this case. We will navigate to the requisitions form just like before. Previously, using Philip's account, three fields were updated. Phone is a mask field, so modification was denied, whereas contact and location are unmasked fields, so the fields were updated. I will search for the same record with requisition number 187, and we will see that the record has been updated with the modifications that Philip made. And Chin can also view the values for the phone field. In the fourth use case, we will cover how to filter and mask financial data based on policy. For this use case, if the user's responsibility is Preferences SSWA, he will only be allowed to view the 2002 year records and the columns Ledger Balance, Available Balance, and Value Dated Balance will be masked as zero if the value is over 50 million on the balances page. The users Peter and William will be used in this use case. Before we move into the demo, let's review the policy details and expected results. These are the policy details. Here is the expected cash management view for Peter. This is the expected cash management view for William. Now, let's move into the demo. Let's log in as Peter. As Peter, let's navigate to Financial Management Vision Germany page and select Bank Balances under Cash Management. Here, I will fill in the name field and click Go. We will see that Peter can only view records from the year 2002 and the values that are larger than 50 million for the columns Ledger Balance, Available Balance, and Value Dated Balance are masked as zero, since Peter's responsibility is Preferences SSWA. Next, let's log in as William. As William, let's navigate to Bank Balances under Cash Management. Here, I will fill in the name field and click Go. We see that William can view all the records for not only 2002, but also for 2003. The original values for the Ledger Balance, Available Balance, and Value Data Balance are shown. In the last use case, 
we will cover how to filter and mask inventory data based on policy. For this use case, if the user's responsibility is application developer, the column thread code will be filtered by value DHL, and the column location will be masked as asterisk if the value is Hagen on material transaction. The user's Philip and chain will be used in this use case. Before we move into the demo, let's review the policy details and expected results. These are the policy details. Here is the expected material transactions view for Philip. This is the expected material transactions view for Chin. Now, let's move into the demo. Let's log in as Philip and navigate to Inventory Vision Operations USA. Click on Transaction and select Material Transaction. A pop up will prompt Philip to select an organization. Here, I will choose Vision Germany. In this window, we will modify the query condition by adjusting the transaction start date. Then, click Find. On this window, we see that some of the locations are marked as asterisk because Philip's responsibility is application developer, and the value is Hagen for these locations. In addition, Philip is only able to view results with write code Danzas. Now, let's log in as Chin and navigate to the material transaction. Similarly, I will choose Vision Germany. Here, I will adjust the transaction start date and click Find. On this window, we see that Chin can view the results with location Hagen. He is also able to view more results as compared to Philip, as he can view the results with write code DHL. With this, we conclude our demo on controlling access with NixLab's Data Access Enforcer for Oracle EBS. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe to the Next Labs channel and stay tuned for more data centric security videos.